Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve the chapter 2, the food factory of plants from class 4 science book and also try to find out some inside question answers. Before we start, requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notifications. If you missed any video, then please check out the description box or playlist you will find them. So let's start. The chapter the food factory of plants first we are going to solve the objectives number a tick the correct answer number one the flat part of the leaf is called the answer is b leaf blade number two which of the following parts of plants stores food the answer is all of this that means stem root and flower number three which solution is used to test the presence of chlorophyll? The answer is sugar. Number, five, uh, number 4. Which of the following is not necessary for photosynthesis? The answer is leaves. Number 5. Which of the following prepared the food on its own? The answer is rose plant. Next, number B. State true or false. Number 1. Green plants are autotrophs. True. Number 2. Venus flytrap is an insectivorous plant. True. Number three, bracket fungi are green plants. False. Number four, plants need animals for pollination and seed dispersal. True. Number five, roots do not help in photosynthesis. The answer is false. Next, number C, fill in the blanks. Number one, Leaves are called the food factory of a plant. Number two, plants take in carbon dioxide from the air. Number three, chlorophyll traps sunlight. Number four, sundew plants is an insectivorous plant. Number five, the extra food of plants is stored as starch. Next, number D, there are some question answers. Let's solve. Before that, here, there are some answer in word. Number A, a substance which is responsible for the green color of the leaves, that is chlorophyll. Number B, food prepared by the plants is stored in the form of starch. Number C, tiny opening in the leaves for performing exchange of gases in plants, stomata. Number D, a non-green plants that feed on date and decaying plants and animals for food mushroom. Now we are going to solve some question answer. Number one, define photosynthesis, the process by which leaves prepare food using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. Number two. Why are leaves called the food factory of a plant? Leaves make food for the whole plant. So they are called the food factory or the kitchen of a plant. Number three. What are the things needed by a plant to prepare food? Plants need air, water, soil and sunlight to prepare food. Number four. What are the substances formed after photosynthesis? Glucose and oxygen are formed after photosynthesis. Number 5. What happens with the extra food prepared by plants? The extra food prepared by plants changed into a substance, substance called starch. Number 6. How does a pitcher plant catch insects? In a pitcher plant, the leaf is shaped like a pitcher with small leaf. This pitcher is brightly colored to attract insects. When an insect enters the pitcher, it slips and falls into the juice below the pitcher. This traps the uh, insect inside. Digestive juices inside the pitcher digest the insect. Next number E. Answer in detail. Number 1. How 
is balance in nature important for human beings we know that plants and animals are interdependent on each other for survival so if the number of plants suddenly increases the carbon dioxide breathed out by animals would not be sufficient for the plants to make food similarly if the number of animals suddenly increases plants may not be able to provide sufficient amount of food and oxygen to all the animals hence a sudden increase or decrease in the number of plants or animals can create a threat to a survival of either of them so balance in nature is important for human beings next number 2 how are plants and animals dependent on each other plants and animals depend on each other for food and shelter plants provide food to animals they also give out oxygen animals use this oxygen to breathe animals breathe out carbon dioxide that plants use for photosynthesis plants also need animals for many other things such as pollination and seed dispersal animals such as birds use plants to make their homes thus plants and animals are strongly interdependent on each other for their survival next number 3 what would happen if all the herbivores in a forest die herbivores animals are dependent on plants and carnivores are dependent on herbivores for food so if all the herbivores in a forest die all the life form all the life form of earth will die as the food chain breaks down next number 4 explain the flow of energy among the living organisms on the earth all living organisms need energy to perform various activities they obtain this energy this energy from the food they eat green plants prepare their own food through photosynthesis the sun provides this energy to the plants to prepare their food animals and human beings either directly or indirectly dependent on plants for food in this manner that energy of the sun flows to plants and then animals and human beings next number 5 state the functions of a leaf a leaf performs various functions for a plant the most important function of a leaf is to prepare food for the plant leaves of some plants such as spinach that means palak and fenugreek that means methi store food we eat them as vegetables number 2 all living things including plants breath to stay alive stomata on a leaf help the plant to breathe stomata take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis number 3 most leaves have a white surface which help them to absorb a large amount of sunlight for photosynthesis number 4 leaves also help in reproduction in some plants next number 7 explain with the help of an activity the sunlight is required for photosynthesis now see the book this activity you have to copy this activity from the book okay so just take a screenshot of this activity okay this is the answer of this question now we are going to solve some inside question answers that means extra question answer Number one, who are known as autotrophs? Living things that can produce their own food are known as autotrophs. Example: green plants. Number two, who are heterotrophs? Living things that dependent on other for food are called heterotrophs. Example: animals, human beings. Number three, define stomata. The underside, the underside of a plant leaf. has many tiny pores called stomata number 4 describe the breathing process of plant during photosynthesis during photosynthesis carbon dioxide enters the leaf through the stomata and oxygen and water vapor are released 
Number five, describe the breathing process of plant during respiration. During respiration, oxygen enters and carbon dioxide is released through the stroma stromata. Number six, what is chlorophyll? The leaves of green plants contain a green substance called chlorophyll. Number seven, what is the meaning of photosynthesis? Photo means light and synthesis means preparing, putting together. Number eight, what is starch? The extra food is changed into a substance called starch. Number nine, where is starch stored? Starch is stored in leaves, roots, stems, fruits or seeds. Number ten, how do the structures of mushrooms help them? Mushrooms have tiny, very tiny root-like structures that go deep into the soil. These structures help them to absorb food from the soil. Number 11 names some non-green plants, mushrooms, bracket fungi. Number 12, where do bracket fungi grow? Bracket fungi grow on tree trunk. Number 13, which plants are known as insectivorous plants? Some plants attract, capture, kill and digest insects. Such plants are known as insectivorous plants. Number 14, name some insectivorous plants. Venus flytrap, sundew, pitcher plant. So now we come to the end. Again requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notifications on time. If you have missed any video, then please check out the description box or playlist. If you have any queries, then please write on the comment box so that I will able to solve the problems you have. So that's all for today. We'll be back with a new video. Till then, bye and take care.